Hello. Hello, hello. So I'm Ali and I'm going to be doing astrology readings using Taran for the week um, beginning the 3rd of January 2022 through to the 10th of January 2022. Okay, so I thought I would do this um, for you today. So if um, Hello. Having a look at your own birth sign, having a look at, you know, maybe your sun, moon and rising would be a good idea. Um, if you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, then you could um, go into a search engine and, and put down what is my sun, moon and rising and you will see that there's a little chart that comes up and you can, or you click on one of the links and then the chart, you can put in your location, the time and the day of your birth. And it doesn't have to be exact time. So if you haven't got exact time, it doesn't matter. Um, but the date and location, okay? And then it will tell you what your sun, moon and rising is. So it's a good idea to look at three of these readings um, to get a good picture of, of, your, um, of your future, of what's going to be happening next week. Okay, so I'm going to start, as you can see, with Leo. Okay, so I'm going to do the fire signs. Um, and then I'm going to do the, um, what am I going to do next? Okay, I'll do the, um, the water signs, then I'll do the air signs, and then the earth signs. Okay, so I'm going to do them in that order. Okay, just so if you're, really, if you're watching this, then, um, you know, but when you're scrolling through, you'll be able to look at things, because I'll, I'll keep these um, going up. Okay, so if you've not seen these videos before. Okay, so I want to wish you all a happy new year. And um, I've been doing some readings on um, live on Facebook today. Um, if you want to have a look, it's Alison Jane's Facebook page. Okay, and um, yeah, I've been doing some live readings on there. Um, I was just charging, um, you know, 15 pounds just to give a mini overview of the what's happening over 2022. Okay, so I can do those. If anybody would like one, please contact me. Um, you can contact me on my email, um, which is psychically121 at gmail.com. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on with you guys, um, Leos, for this next week. Okay, so. I will have a little look and see if there is anybody about <laughs> in the comments there. I haven't warned anybody I'm coming on. And if people in the UK, it's 3.06 here um, a.m. So I <laughs> don't think anybody in the UK will be awake. So, okay, let's have a look then and see what's happening with Leo's. Okay, I'm just going to tune in to you guys. Third. Of January through to the 10th of January 2022. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so starting off the beginning of this next week, I'm seeing a little bit of kind of, um, it's like being held back and um, and stopping doing what it is that you want to do, what you're, what you're, um, what you're fired up to do. Um, this is going to make you feel as though I now want to get going. Okay, so by the start of the new year, that's how you're going to be feeling. What can I do? Where can I go? How can I get started out? Who's about? What's going on? Okay, and of course, the Leo energy is all about kind of fire and, um, and you know, Wanting to, wanting to kind of um, show people what you've got, you know. Um, so this kind of energy is going to get you what it is that you want. It's going to get you started because they're good affirmations to go out there. Okay, starting of this um, of this this year, really, isn't it? Okay, so there is going to be um, somebody around you who is showing signs of being a little bit too controlling, or that's what they have been doing. Now, this isn't going to go down very well with you, okay, because you don't like being told what to do. 
okay, you don't mind kind of being a team player, but when somebody is trying to be too in your face with it, that, that doesn't work out. So what I'm seeing is there is certain boundaries that you're going to be wanting to put up, certain restrictions. So some of those restrictions, it might be that you don't necessarily want to, um, you know, be in their company. Um, for some people, it could be, you know, that you've kind of had enough and, and um, you know, you're just going to block them out. OK, I don't know. Some of some for some people, for some Leos, it will be more extreme than others. OK, but um, it is linked to dominant people. OK, in general. OK, so by the middle of the week for Leos, middle of the week, I'm seeing getting ready for um, travel plans, getting ready to get out and about. And I feel that there are some people around, um, you know, around kind of you. I'm seeing cars and I'm seeing needing to get it sorted out. Now, there is a particular car that there is something wrong with the electrics. They show me the electrical fault and it's something to do with um, the windows. Um, bizarre. I know I get things bizarrely, but I do get somebody later on saying, um, I mean, like the other day I, I did it last week. I got the astrology readings and I came up with a poodle. It was like a poodle out of the blue. This poodle comes bounding in um, to the reading and I had to give it. And later on, somebody came back to me and said, by the way, my poodle, you know, passed away or, you know, I can take the poodle. So it's, it's just bizarre things. But anyway, I'm seeing this electrical fault. And there's an issue with windows. The windows won't go down or up or something like that. And they're saying it's electrical fault. OK, and there's a need to get it done because I feel that there is a journey that they need to go on um, or they're going to, you know, it's going to be important to get this fixed. There's also a lot of psychic ability around you, Leos, and it's like you're going to be wanting to do this more. Now, I am going to be very surprised if this doesn't come up in most people's readings because something has happened. The start of this year is going to be very much a spiritual kind of it's like you've done um a loop and there's been a leap of faith does that mean something's happened and i feel that you're going to be kind of walking away from drama a lot more a lot more people are not wanting to be around it so much um, and this is going to be a good thing okay it's going to mean a very much laid back and happy life now the end of this um next week um, for Leos is, um, yeah, it, they're telling me about being independent. So I feel that you're, a lot of you are gonna be wanting to break away from, um, it's like jobs or break away from, from um, any, any kind of work situations that are stifling you. Anything that is making you feel as though I'm not being able to express myself, I can't do what I want to do, um, it's going to be getting kind of tiresome. And so I'm seeing a lot of people breaking free from any restrictions or anything that isn't going to be in their best interests. And this is going to change things in your life quite a bit. Um, but I am seeing, you know, positive changes. I'm seeing taking that leap of faith is exactly what the universe, um, it's like it, the universe kind of looks for these sort of things and rewards people who are following their path, following their dreams, um, doing that right thing. Now, you might be in two minds about it. You might be thinking, I don't know if I've done the right thing. You know, should I have changed my mind? Should I have, you know, should, should I go back? I don't know, but I am seeing that there is a lot of, um, it's like good things start to evolve, okay? That's, they're just showing me this. Um, there is a new person coming into your life. This new person is somebody who you know is gonna be, um, they're gonna be a, a close friend or they, they could be more, okay? This new person coming into your life towards the end of next week, um, they may have links with overseas. So that could mean they've traveled or it could mean that you know, they've lived in a different country, okay? It could mean all sorts of things, but there's links with overseas, they're, they're telling me. Um, there's an also, also a feeling of 
um, emotionally overflowing. So it's like you meet somebody who is really special to you, um, that there is a strong connection that you have. Now that in this year, um, 2022, there's going to be a lot of um, new connections linked with twin flame energies, linked with soulmates, um, meeting that those special people. When I've been doing readings, I've really seen a lot of people not just meeting um, a person just for now. It's more deep connections, okay, that people are having. Okay, so it's like the shallow kind of uh, relationships just aren't fitting right with you. Um, so I've seen this a lot um, in 2021. Um, I've seen that. So it's continuing over to 2022. So there you go. That's Leo's for you. Okay. So we're going to go on to Sagittarius. Okay. So Sagittarians. Okay. okay. That was for me, but I'm hoping it's the right way around for you guys. <laughs> Just double check the. I'm not expecting there to be anybody about. Okay, so <clears throat> let's have a look now at Sagittarians. Right, what's happening with you guys? <clears throat> so for you guys, I'm, I can see that um, you are also starting this kind of um, new year off with being fired up. Okay, you've got the Ace of Wands. Um, also, Leo's had the Ace of Wands as well. And the Ace of Wands is, is basically like, um, I need something to get my teeth into. I need a project. I need a hobby or I need something else. I need it to be exciting. Um, and they're saying that there, there is, um, it's like being very direct. Okay, so your energy is going to be very direct. Um, your birth sign is that you see a target and you go for it and you remain blinkered until you reach what it is that you want. Um, well, that's exactly, you're going to be completely true to your astrology sign, okay, Sagittarians. Okay, so this is going to be very, very um, constructive. I feel as if you're going to be kind of writing a list down of all the things that you want to do um, and all the things that you're going to achieve, okay? And there's not just one, you're thinking of lots of them, okay? It's going to be very um, exciting. And I see that that excitement is going to um, lead on to the middle of um, this next week where you're going to take that leap of faith. OK, you're going to decide that's it. I'm going for it. You know, this is it. OK, and that that it's like um, I'm seeing links with maybe um, moving. Um, a lot of you might be moving. You might be moving jobs or you might be moving um, because we've got the movement card here. We've got the rerouting, the restructuring your life. We've also got um, a strong feeling that um, you need to kind of make something official. So that's um, maybe um, getting a meeting going, um, getting organized. If you're moving, it means that you'll be making appointments to go and see properties. Um, you'll be making appointments maybe to do with a new job maybe, but it's all lots and lots of changes it's like you're looking ahead um, and you're not holding back, that's for sure. Okay, Sagittarians. The end of this next week. Um, yeah, there's official paperwork, there's official things, getting documents together, getting everything organized, making sure it's all kind of, you know, you've got um, where you want to go, how you want to get there, what, what the best plan is. Okay, I'm seeing form filling. I'm seeing applications. Um, there is something to do with a little bit of secrecy. So it could be that you're not telling too many people um, about what your plans are. You might be keeping those to yourself. 
just for a little while, okay? And I feel that this is probably the best plan, okay? You are standing your ground over a matter of principle to do with a home situation, um, something to do with home. It's like, I didn't say yes to these changes or, you know, these changes aren't something that I want and, and need, okay, in my life. Um, and there seems to be a bit of rejection or a bit of a feeling of, you know, um, this is a one-sided relationship or this is a one-sided friendship or, you know, family situations, I'm always helping you, you're not there for me. So whatever is going on, it's all about balancing up your emotions, something to do with home and it's got, I'm standing up for myself and I'm not going to back down, okay? So um, I'm hearing these kind of, you know, strong wordings and strong energy, okay? <clears throat> So that's what I see for Sagittarians. Okay, so we're now going to do Aries. Aries, let's have a look for you. What are you up to um, this next week? So this is the 3rd of January through to the 10th of January 2022. <clears throat> okay so um the beginning of next week beginning of next week i'm seeing that there is some talk and discussions about um you know holidays um breaks away getting away it can mean like wanting to travel wanting to escape from your surroundings is a feeling of spreading your wings. Um, there is a feeling of feeling alone for a lot of people, having to do things independently, you know, not feeling as if other people are around you who can be supportive to you. So you're going to be letting go, walking away from some people, okay, that have been um, making you feel alone, even when you're with them. Okay, so it's like you'd rather be alone than put up with. Um, you know, it's like being judged or you feel as if somebody is kind of not um, not on your wavelength, not understanding you, not wanting to understand you. And um, so there's going to be a lot of letting go energy um, from 2021 through to 2022. Um, you're deciding who's coming with you on your journey for the future. OK, but you are being very um, it's like you're being very brave. The independence in you is coming out. So at times you might feel lonely, but it's better to feel lonely on your own than it is in a crowd sometimes, um, because at least you don't have to put on an act or anything like that. So I can see that there is some money situations that have turned up that aren't really the greatest, um, that there seems to be a, a bit of a, um, a problem uh, regarding money okay it could be that money's owed to you it could be that you was expecting a certain amount and it didn't come through that way um, there's going to be a feeling of i've got to get this sorted out so i'm seeing lots of um gambles you know taking a risk taking a gamble um you know trying a different pathway you know you've never done it before but you're going to try um, um there seems to be a lot of emotions going on as well around you okay but the financial situation, I feel, will sort itself out. Let me have a look. Okay, yeah, we've got the world card in amongst that. So the world card basically says that things are going to turn out better than you thought. Okay, so it's it's kind of a better outcome than you were worried about. There is It is a challenge, though. So it feels as if you've been in a challenge situation. You've been asked, you know, the universe has asked you to step up, you know, try something different um you know take a new route you know um and you've kind of stepped up and said okay i will um probably because you didn't have a choice because of what's already happened financially it's like well maybe i'll give this a go so i feel that you have um you know new beginnings new changes and things new opportunities to do with money and work yeah, um, you have broken free from um, a certain restricted kind of uh, job. 
um, some sort of restrictions around a money uh, problem. Okay, so it's now that you are kind of saying, I'm not no longer going to be um, confined to you. I'm free to do what I want to do or go where I want to go. Okay, it's like somebody has done you a favor by um, making you feel as though, you know, you only had to be loyal to them. When they've let you down, you have now got the opportunity to maybe spread your wings a little bit more. So it may seem a bit of a, an agitation, you know, you're, you're kind of annoyed, um, but then it's like, well, you know, what can they expect now? You know, unless they're going to meet me halfway and, you know, help me out, I'm going to be stubborn. So I really feel as if you are completely um, knowing your rights, standing up for yourself, and there may be some big changes because of it, okay, because you're not going to be um, made to feel as if you're not an important person, okay, so um, yeah, you're getting feisty, <laughs> okay, so that's all the fire signs, okay, so we're now going to do water signs, we will start off with Scorpio, and then we will do Pisces, and then Cancerians. Okay, so Scorpios. So let's have a look and see what is going on in Scorpios life. Okay, so this is the 3rd of January through to the 10th. I have to keep saying it because I'm telling my guides um, that this is what we're looking into. Okay. Okay, so the beginning of the week for Scorpios. Okay, so I'm seeing a character around you who has been, um, you've been asking them questions. Um, they have been very defensive. They have not made it very easy to communicate with them. It could be that someone's asking you questions that you think are too private and that they shouldn't know about. I'm not sure which way around it is. And for some of you, for some Scorpios, it will be, you know, that you're the one being defensive. And for others, it will be someone else being defensive. Either way, it's draining the other person. The other person is feeling as if they can't get close to you or they can't understand you. It could be you not understanding them. Remember the other way around. Emotionally, though, you know, sometimes we have to let that go. Sometimes we have to say, well, you know, I've got, to, I've got to let them have their privacy um, or they've got to let me have my privacy. There's a reason that I don't want to communicate, that I don't want to let that person in. Maybe there's a defense mechanism going up and for good reason, okay? So I'm seeing a love life energy, um, a relationship. Now, for some of you, Scorpios, it may not be a love life um, relationship, it could be a family or a friendship relationship. But this relationship is going through a good phase. It's like a celebration. It's like a togetherness, you know, where both people are enjoying each other's company. Both people are feeling um, the right energy between the two of you. And, you know, nobody's trying to dominate another. Okay. And it's equal. Okay. Um, there is somebody, though, interfering in it. So it could be that you two are okay, but there is a dominant person on the outskirts trying to kind of bully their way in or trying to manipulate um, this relationship. Okay. Now, I feel that you're going to be kind of blocking out this person. Um, you're going to be feeling as if, you know, this person, we're not going to tell this person any more information because uh, we feel that this, you know, that they've not got our best interests at heart. So I do feel as if there's a little bit of creeping about, a little bit of kind of cloak and dagger energy um, while you're trying to meet up or trying to get together um, or just block them out, really. Okay. Okay, so you are juggling money like we all are, I know, um, but I can't get away from this card. If you think about pentacles being money, 
he's definitely juggling money. <laughs> okay, so there's juggling money, um, but this is usually for a big reason. And I feel that you are saving money up for something that you are really excited about. So this is, it's like um, a new wish or an idea for something. Um, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to go there. I've got to get the money together. So I feel that you're being very careful regarding money matters and organization, okay? There is a frustration that you want this money earlier or quicker, okay? But you can only do what you can do. You are going to get creative, though, about how you can get more money together. It can be that you've got the money, but you've got to convince somebody else maybe that they need to come with you, and in which case they're trying to find the money. OK, I'm seeing that you're dealing with things head on. You are sorting things out and dealing with things. Any any kind of issues, anybody who is trying to get at you, anybody who's trying to make you feel um, it's like um, not important that those people um, or that person isn't going to be lasting very long. Now, you can see that there is an ongoing kind of um, it's like a flow that I've had, you know, with the fire signs, and now we've got it in the water signs, that people are getting more feisty. People are starting to say no. People are starting to be themselves and, you know, not expect, um, not expect anyone else to stand up for them but themselves. Okay, so there's that kind of um, strong energy. Now, you guys have got this um, a face that you can put on to say, I'm fine. Everything is great. Don't you worry about me. But inside, there might be a lot of turmoil. There might be a lot of emotions going on. I can see some sort of training and learning going on as well. I feel that this is going to be something that you're going to be um, getting involved with. Um, maybe you feel as if it's time for a change, uh, maybe a change of career or a change of hobby. Maybe you're going to do something with an old gift that you had. You know, you was always good at it before. You're going to see if you're good at it again. Okay, so that is for Scorpios. <clears throat> um, so this is Pisces now. Okay. So Scorpio was my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, Pisces is myself, my mum. And um, Cancerians in a minute is my other daughter. So we're all water signs. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's happening with Pisces. Okay, <clears throat> beginning of next week for Pisces. Okay, so, you know, I said to you that I'm seeing that going to see a lot of this, and this is to do with psychic ability. It's really going to start to, to grow. It's really going to start to um, evolve into something bigger and better. You're going to have lots of new ideas about what it is you're going to do with your psychic gift, or maybe how you're going to find out what is your psychic gift. I can see that there's a lot of hard work around this, um, so this is going to be the time for you to develop. I can see a plodder character around you, somebody who's steady, hardworking, reliable. I feel that you know where you are with this particular person. Um, but this particular person is going into their shell a little bit. So it could be that they're working hard, but they don't feel as if they're getting anywhere. There's a sense of being fed up. Um, and you feel very, very strongly towards this person. Now, okay, it, some people it can be that you are this hardworking person. And you're the one that's feeling a bit fed up. And you're the one that's thinking, I wonder if I could change careers. I wonder if I could do something with my spiritual side. I wonder if I could um, train maybe for something else. OK, but, you know, the conversation is going to be happening about breaking down, um, you know, the, the monotonous of, wor of work. OK, and it's like I just want to do something different. OK. So there's going to be um, some money around or you're going to find out about some money coming to you. Now, this money is something that you are owed, something that is um, meant to be for you. Um, 
this kind of new beginning on money, it could be that there's a little bit of a battle coming up, a little bit of a, you know, needing to get um, the right results and having to really push forward for it. OK, so it could be that. OK, it just feels as if, you know, these battles around you, um, it could be that you have been battling to get this. Yeah, I don't know where the battling is coming in, because some, some of you it's going to be beforehand. Just, I mean, having to battle to go and get it. It could be that it's already kind of got to that stage um, already. And now it's like it's smooth, you know, and this money's around you. You know, it's going to be different for everybody. But the wheel of fortune that you have means that it's it's moving. Just, I mean, this situation is definitely moving and it feels as if it's moving in the right direction. OK, it's definitely moving in the right direction. OK. So you're going to be looking forwards to the future. You're going to be doing lots of planning. A lot of things that you're going to be doing um, are going to involve a lot of planning because they're big things. They're not just little things. I am seeing that you are going to be um, weighing up the pros and the cons to do with jobs, work, um, to do with kind of where you put your energy and what you do. OK, to do with money. It's to do with spending. It's to do with opportunities. Um, and I feel that this is all focusing on your future and focusing on your what you're going to do um, in the very near future, sort of like January, February time. OK, and I'm seeing two opportunities in front of you, two directions that you could go forward. You are feeling as though you are not being appreciated in the job that you're doing or not appreciated to do with financially. Um, or to do with all the effort that you put in, you're not feeling as though, you know, you're, you know, people notice what you're doing. This may mean that you're going to pull away and not do as much as you did. It could be that someone else around you is saying that you're not doing what they think that you should do. OK, either way, um, there are, is going to be outspoken words um, and people being very honest. This is going to bring about a lot more clarity and a lot more um, happiness because we've got the, the sun card okay um, and if somebody's been feeling upset or down um, about this it's getting it off their chest is going to make things a lot easier a lot better um, and the secret is is to try and listen to that person's uh, point of view and instead of getting defensive and going on the attack or you know getting just about to set to give an excuse as to why you haven't um, been there for them, or, you know, then maybe it, you know, to say sorry first. Well, I am sorry, you know, you know, and it doesn't matter if you then say I've had a lot on or, you know, but just the saying sorry um, is going to make a huge difference. Um, and if it's someone else around you, then let's hope that they use that word as well. Okay. So we're going to do Cancerians now. Yeah. So Cancerians, let's see. I'm going to change my cards to the Light Sears Tarot. Okay. These are beautiful cards. The other cards I was using was the Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch. Okay. Cancerians for the 3rd to the 10th of January 2022. Right. Okay, so it's going to start with um, wanting to try different things, wanting to expand your life in new areas. OK, now part of you is thinking, I don't know who I'm kidding. I'm never going to do that. But part of you is thinking, oh, I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I'm not going to be so predictable. Maybe I'm going to absolutely um, finish the job as I start. Maybe I'm going to be a different person that other people can look up to, rely on. 
maybe you're already this this person and maybe you're trying to encourage another younger person who's with you or an immature person um, to become more um it's like um reliable yeah reliable They're, it's like i want them to to be known as being reliable okay there has been some obstacles some things that haven't worked out as well as you've wanted to and i feel this is to do with um some plans and i feel that these plans are um social plans so this is kind of um going places or um you know travel um be like a holiday travel um you know going to visit somebody but it does involve kind of like a long distance okay travel plans so it felt as if there have been obstacles in the past and you're hoping that these obstacles aren't going to be so bad um, for the future okay so um you know you're going to be trying to make this happen again um this is the beginning of um january okay so we've got some lovely cards here and it feels as if to do with your home life to do with your private life um there are going to be a lot more kind of visits and fun um there's a lot more uh, friendships a lot more togetherness and um and lightheartedness now that some people i know it may just be on the internet um it could it could mean face to face but i know that you know for some people there are restrictions um i've got the ace of wands here which means that you are you know i'll show you this card it's beautiful um it means that you're fired up and ready to take on new challenges and a lot of that is linked with you know your psychic ability it's linked with that intuition going with your own intuition and deciding that you know this is this is it this is your time this is your turn um these togetherness these kind of um solidarity feelings of family or friendships um and being playful you know enjoying each other's company um there's a lot of that energy going on here okay and um you're going to be you know really in a good place okay regarding that um i'm seeing some work being done in the home some sort of projects and things improvements getting organized maybe chucking things away that you don't need because I can see a bit of a clear out going on. There's going to be some changes to your attitude to do with, you know, spirituality or to do with your psychic ability. Um, somebody around you maybe has been trying to make you feel as though um, you don't know what you're talking about if you come up with anything spiritual or, you know, they're going to, you know, that it's no good talking to them about it. Um, because they're going to belittle you or make you feel, um, I don't know. It's like um, it's like a form of rejection, isn't it? When somebody isn't there for you, um, when you're enthusiastic about something, um, it doesn't take five minutes to just listen to somebody. You know, even if it's not something that you really are interested in, but because that person is interested in it, just take a little bit of time out and just, you know, ask a few questions about it. You know make that person feel um feel special just for that little bit of time it it's it's no effort whatsoever but it means so much to the other person i can see that to do with your finances to do with kind of work matters finances it's like you are picking what it is that you're going to be doing next okay so it's like i'm seeing opportunities all the way around you but it's like I could do this, I could do that, I could do that. I might even do this, um, and all of this is going to be um, starting up the beginning of this year. Okay, so this could be self-employment projects. It could be art, uh, art and crafts. It could be um, you know training, retraining for a job. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of this kind of new beginning energy. You've already got a lot of gifts. You've already done so much. And all you've got to do now is to take it to that next level, okay? And you won't be disappointed because I'm seeing lots of opportunities um, right ahead of you. Okay. So that is for Cancerians. So I'm going to do air signs now, okay? Um, but first of all, I need to make myself a quick drink. And um, 
soothe my throat because I've been doing readings um, all day today. So. Sorry about the noise. My kettle is very, <clears throat> is very loud. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming on here um, and doing more work. Um, I had decided this, um, but it's actually um, maybe just more determined now because I've got a ban on Facebook for two days. Okay. So those two days are, you know, well, okay, I'll just make the most of it on YouTube, then I'll just go onto YouTube. Um, so, so yeah, I've got violations for speaking the truth and, um, you know, they don't like it, really. Um, so um, I'm okay, I've been a bad girl. Um, but I would like to do more little tutorials, that sort of thing. Um, I wanted to come on and do some affirmation, building up of affirmations this year. Um, I wanted to do kind of um, tutorials on, on tarot and connecting things. Um, there's lots of different subjects. I'm starting up a 10 week course. Um, this 10 week course starts um, tomorrow, which well today actually, because <laughs> it's 3 a.m. today, um, quarter to four actually a.m. Um, I'm starting this up um, today um, at um, 7.30 p.m. UK time, 2.30 p.m. Um, Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, it's a 10-week course and anyone can join in. Um, it doesn't matter what level you are. Um, if I see that you are capable of doing more, then I will push you to do more. Um, and it's like if, I, if I'm seeing people who are struggling, then I will nurture them and um, and help them to grow their confidence, okay? But whatever level you are, um, I would hope that you will. Um, I'll make sure that you go away every single week and it will be, I've learned something or I've progressed. Okay, so yes, it's a 10 week course. I'm only charging a little bit, so it's five pounds um, per class, um, which works out at $7. And um, all you need to do is contact me um, to join in. It's psychicalley one to one at gmail.com. Okay, it's no good contact me on Facebook. Okay. So, um, so yeah, week one, protection, spirit guides and power animals. Week two is clairvoyance. Week three is chakras, pendulums, colors and crystals. Week four is auras, seeing, feeling, sensing, drawing, repairing and giving great readings. Week five is tarot, the major arcana. Week six is tarot, the minor arcana. Week seven is mediumship. Week eight is healing, um, meditation, angels, and cord cutting. And week 10 is trance, channeling, and premonitions. So if that sounds like something that you would like to join into, then please contact me. If you're watching this video and it's at a later day or past the time, please contact me because I do run these periodically um, and there's usually workshops or classes going on. So you can just um, contact me and I'll let you know kind of what's happening. OK. So, quick drink. Okay, so we're going to be doing, um, we'll start with Aquarius. Oh, hello, uninsurable, hello. A Pisces in the house. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius now. Turn that down. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on with Aquarius. Okay. I'm going to carry on with my light seers um, tarot. So, let's have a look.
Okay, so the start of this, um, this week for Aquarians. Now, for some of you, it's going to feel as if I just want to run away from other people that I've spent far too much time with other people, or maybe I can't handle um, other people's stuff and I just want to um, just be myself. Um, I feel that there is some past trauma, okay, going on, either with yourself or with somebody close to you. Um, it could be that that person needs you to be, with, be there for them or you need them to be there for you. But part of you, like I said, is wanting to run away and not deal with it at all, okay? Um, you are trying to, um, it's like protect yourself. You are trying to um, um, put yourself in this bubble of healing, okay? Which is good. It's a good start. Um, it will help you. So visual, visualize yourself in a bubble, um, fill it up with um, pink and green um, um, swirling lights. Okay, put it with that. Um, and it's the energy of pink and green as well. And that is to do with the heart chakra, it's to do with healing. Um, also, if you can think about the happiest moment of your life and allow that to fill up um, your aura as well. Okay, fill up that and you'll be safe inside that bubble, more secure um, and able to deal with things a lot easier. Okay, you might be having this conversation with someone else. So I never know whether it's you playing the main part or someone else. And obviously most Aquarians, it will be different. Okay, so um, there is a lot of solidarity energy. Okay, so there are a lot of friendships or people um, out there who want to be friends with you, who want to connect with you. Now, sometimes we get that feeling of, you know, well, maybe you're lonely, maybe there aren't anybody around. And what I'll say to you is that sometimes we need to find those friendships online. Sometimes we need to start going to groups and start to, you know, you can create some really lovely friendships, really lovely energy okay, from just those friendships online. Um, you know, somebody who every single week they say, how are you? And they mean it. They want to know what's been happening with you, okay? It's not just kind of a conversation. They really, really feel it. Um, so, you know, if you are feeling as if you, you feel alone or you feel kind of isolated, um, then maybe think about that. Think about kind of these new groups. Um, I am seeing someone around you who is going to announce that they are pregnant or that they want a baby. OK, so there's going to be something to do with babies, pregnancy opportunities. OK, um, and I feel very strongly um, that there is. Um, <laughs> OK, there's somebody around who this will be a complete surprise. Um, absolutely. They wasn't expecting it. Obviously not as surprised as Mary. <laughs> um, um, but th this person was, you know, will be quite surprised um, at this. It could be, you know, out of the blue. It wasn't expecting it. And they, there we are. OK, um, so there is I mean, this doesn't have to be directly linked to you. This can be around you. Um, I can see that you don't want to get involved um, with somebody in particular it's something to do with a drama or a dramatic situation. Um, you feel as if there's somebody around who is trying to create more drama than is actually needed. And, you know, it, it's like you've been around this for far too often and you don't want to do this anymore. You don't want to play that game. I can see that there are things that have been keeping you awake, um, things that are on your mind and worrying. Um, but I will say that things are getting better, that there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel. There is going to be, um, you know, future. Um, ex um, it's like um, those dreams and wishes that you've had for such a long time, they are on their way. And when they are um, around you, you're going to feel like, thank good goodness I held on. Thank goodness I projected my thoughts um, in a positive way, because now I've got all that positive coming back to me. Okay. 
Um, so I'm seeing there is a clear out, okay, getting rid of things that you don't want anymore. I'm seeing, um, you know, perhaps giving away to people that don't, that might need your things, but it does feel as if it's like shedding, okay, um, of the old and, and in with the new. Um, there is, they're saying that financially there's going to be a lot more opportunities coming your way, okay, over, I would say I'm going into the middle of January, okay, for you. The middle of January um, is going to be really good opportunities, and I feel that this, um, it's like you might not be able to see it um, next week, um, but you will see it by the middle of January, these new opportunities. These opportunities are linked, I feel, more to do with work or finances, um, money matters, that sort of thing, but um, it is all kind of happening, um, and it's going to put a big smile on your face as well. Okay, so that is for Aquarius. Hello, Mary Jane. Hello. What birth sign are you, Mary Jane? <laughs> so I'm, um, I'm Pisces, and then I have Libra rising, and I have, um, what's, the, what's the earth? Um, I've got the Sagittarius. Yeah, no, moon. I've got Sagittarius moon. Yeah, and Greg um, is a triple Libra. So, yeah. Are oh, the crab Cancerians? I've done Cancerians already. So, what are your rising signs and your moon signs, Mary Jane? Okay, I'm going to swap and change my cards again. And I'm going to go into, I can't remember what these ones are called. So by Cairo Marchetti, and I think they're Grand, Grand Lux, I believe. Grand Lux. So these are beautiful cards as well. They're very lovely. Okay, so we're going to use those ones for now. Aquarius Rising. Ah, so that was just, just for you then. And Aries Moon. Okay, so I've done Aries and um, yeah, okay. All right, I didn't warn anybody I was coming on Mary Jane. <laughs> I just decided to. And as I couldn't, I can't record it on my computer. Um, so I had to kind of do this live um, because I've got no space left on my computer. So, oh, that one flung out then. Okay, so we're doing Gemini's. Okay, Gemini's, there's going to be um, some, some news coming your way. Um, it will make you really think about things. It will make you maybe want to dissect things and look into things and analyze, okay? So it's like, you know, when you get, get a hint, a bit of gossip, and it's like, I don't know, I'm going to find out more. Okay, so let's have a look for you. Okay, so you're going to be dissecting a lot of things, especially a lot of things that have happened in 2021. Um, so all of these kind of, um, it's like, you know, things that you've experienced, um, things that, that people have maybe done to you or made you feel a certain way. Uh, you're going to be analysing, what did I learn from that? Um, and, you know, how, how am I going to project myself um, in uh, 2022 how do I want people to think of me you know do I want people to think of me as a person who is a, who completes things who who does things who you know if they promise something they fulfill it you know that's the kind of um feeling you know that you're going to be wanting to portray you know so okay you're going to be in a tricky situation to do with money matters, work matters. It's like you feel as if you're on a tightrope and you feel as if it's only a matter of time before you slip. Um, sorry to say that, but 
you know when it's like um you have got a very strong opinion you do tend to kind of give your opinion out and sometimes other people are not ready to hear it so you think um, it's only a matter of time before i'm going to put my foot in it or i'm going to tell people what i think now this is around money matters or it's around finances okay um it can be around people who are very materialistic okay so you could even be you know talking to them i can see um that you are trying to defend somebody i feel very much so um, and around kind of the middle of next week um so it's the third to the tenth so the middle of that um there is going to be a partnership where you are going to because you have defended this particular person this person is going to be drawing closer to you they're going to be having a lot more respect for you and they're going to be very very thankful um, this partnership energy will just grow and it will go, go into um, something that is more um, together and has more meaning behind it um, it's, it can be a relationship it can be can be a relationship it can be a family member it can be a partner or a possible future partner um, but i am seeing definitely that partnership um, they are saying that sometimes you, it feels as if whichever way you're trying to get out of your situation there is another obstacle and another obstacle and that may only feel like how it feels right now it's not going to be forever and it's not going to be permanent and because this is where i'm seeing everything seems to be flowing by the end of next week by the 10th of january you are cutting through all of the bs and you are able to go with the flow onto the next level the next opportunity the next um you know project okay there's nobody going to be coming along and trying to take anything from you or steal your you know opportunities you are there you're on it and you are able to you know i think very soon i would say mm, telling me kind of february time um there's going to be a lot more money in your purse a lot more money in your pocket okay um and you'll be feeling richer than you felt before okay that's how much i feel that things are going to be changing for you um, and the it's like emotionally you're also feeling very strong um, you're feeling as if you are empowered by getting what it is that you want by positive thinking um, so you're definitely going to start to rely a lot more on your um, affirmations and law of attraction okay so yeah that's what i see look at this lovely card Okay, so it's like having money enough to save. Okay. And this one. Okay, so that's like, um, you know, having money and being able to do something with it, being able to do something special with it. Okay, having new opportunities turning up, you know, feeling very, very, it's like being grateful for what you have, but knowing that you deserve to have more. Okay. And that's what you're progressing, projecting out there. So therefore, that's what will come. We always get what we think we deserve. And that's where the problem lies sometimes. That sometimes if we feel as if we always have to push other people forward, um, so they get it before you get yours, um, all of the time, um, then you're always going to be in second position. You're always going to miss out maybe on those opportunities okay so let's have a look now have a look so this is going to be um libra okay so this is going to be my lovely husband Red Crystal, your this is for you and um, also for Libras. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Oh, 
okay, so part of you is going to be feeling a little bit more fired up, a little bit more kind of it's my turn. Okay, now this hasn't come in very, very much. It hasn't come in very, very often. Okay, but um, this is going to be changing things. Okay, you're starting off this at uh, the beginning of this year with I deserve more and I'm going to get more. And you're going to be, it's, it's going to, um, you're still going to do it in a balanced way, but you are going to be more excited about the future. Okay. And it's like, you're, it's like saying, I'm going to, I'm going to earn more money because I deserve more money or I am capable of earning more. It's kind of like that, your potential, you're looking at your worth and you are projecting that out there not because you want to um you know manipulate or um or rip people off or anything like that it's more to do with whatever you have um earned as in status or as in you know your abilities you are putting it out there okay so um it's going to be a really really good start um to your year i can see self-employment around you big time Okay, so if you are working for somebody, this doesn't mean to say that you're going to leave your job, although for some of you it might. Um, this could mean that you're going to start another opportunity or maybe a business that runs alongside, you know, what you're already doing. Um, but this is going to kick off really well. Um, and I'm seeing that, that you're going to have to be very careful that it doesn't run away and get too busy too quickly. Okay, because it's like, you know, you're trying to race ahead. You've got the chariot card. So you can see he's trying to control the horses. He's trying to get, you know, um, it's like focused on which direction he's going in. Okay, so um, say if you started something and it kind of takes over um, and you then don't have um, enough time to do the first job that you had, sometimes you have to make that decision and say, well, actually, I've got to, concentrate more on this than that so yeah so there may be some decisions that you're going to need to make okay regarding that okay um there is a, an element of letting go walking away and i feel this is from a person who doesn't really understand about you know uh, what other people other people's needs are um, this person can be pretty selfish um, they can only think of themselves and you know it's like you're bored of this energy so you're you're going to be kind of cutting people off or moving away from um, anybody who is just jarring you or making you feel as though you you don't want you don't want their um their energy around you and their attitude um, so you are shifting your energy into you know being around you know people of like mind okay so um and that's okay you know you're entitled to do that um i can see a romantic gesture coming i can see the doors opening towards something that you've never um that you've never thought about um but you're willing to try okay um and i feel this romantic gesture it could be coming what or, or this opportunity could be coming from somebody romantic uh, somebody who's romantically connected with you um in this opportunity it's like the doors are open and saying come on let's both go through um let's both do this so there may be some new adventure um that is going to be starting up with you and a partner um if it isn't a romantic partner sometimes this could be a family member or a friend um i feel that everything is in a bit of limbo until you decide what else is going to happen. But this romantic gesture around you is going to grow and it's going to make you feel very important. It's going to make you feel loved. Okay. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice energy. Okay. So that is all air signs. So what we have left now is um, the earth signs. So just order two bracelets um, from your website. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Oh, that's great news. Oh, what ones did you order? 
I'm so excited. Mm. I do love making my jewellery. I love it. Um, I've got to get moving with making my pyramids as well and um, doing my resin. Yeah, that's one of my resolutions. I'm going to be more crafty. I'm going to do more crafts and things. Um, I'm going to enjoy that. Oh. <laughs> yeah so did you guys have a nice new year what did you do new year and what did you do at christmas <laughs> can't believe i'm on the naughty step of facebook <laughs> You know, it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I do kind of push the limits a bit. Um, yeah, I've got opinions and I'm not afraid to give them. Um, but sometimes you've got to be a bit more subtle. <laughs> Don't be subtle though. <laughs> it's okay. It's like when you get your account suspended, it's you joined a club. Haven't you You've joined a club of, of saying, you know, I am um, the truther. <laughs> I'm looking for the truth. I want the truth. So, <laughs> okay, so here we go with Taurus. Okay. Mm -hmm. What cards am I going to use now? I'm going to go back to my cosmic cards okay my cosmic cards by Norbert Noche and uh, so Mary Jane I went to my daughter's house for both holidays oh that's nice oh that's lovely oh I'm glad you did that family that's, I was around my family so I was very very happy wasn't it would have been just the cherry on the cake would have been that Greg was here um, but it's not he's not going to be flying to the UK anytime soon um, because of his um, quadruple bypass that he's just had done. So his heart needs to mend before he can even begin thinking about flying. And I can't fly there because I'm not this. I um, can't fly into the, um, America until you are. And I'm not going to. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be seeing him for any time soon. Family and grandkids, yeah. Oh. How many grandkids have you got, Mary Jane? I've got five. Five grandchildren. The eldest is 14. Um, Logan. Yeah, I loved it. He is a trooper. He is. He's doing so well. He's only just got over the bowel <clears throat> um, surgery. Um, so if you're wondering who he is, he's Greg Prescott and he's got a channel in 5D. Um, so if there's anybody going to watch this who doesn't know, these guys know um, Greg. Um, but if anybody is around that doesn't know him, um, it's, um, it's a isoteric metaphysical um, database so it's, um, it's an amazing, bringing star family together. Um, it's a wonderful site full of lots and lots of articles and videos and all sorts. Yes, yeah, in 5D. Um, check that out. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the Taurus now. Oh, Taurus. Okay. Right, so I can see that sadly you're going to be drifting away from somebody who you would normally um, be um, around, you would normally be together, you would normally, you know, have lots of kind of together energy. Um, it's like somebody who you would see perhaps every day or very close to every day. Um, and I'm seeing this drifting, I'm seeing this kind of feeling of 
that you and them can't see eye to eye, that there seems to be some, some sort of issues or problems. Now, you have decided that you want to go in a certain direction with your life. Um, you've got your own hopes, dreams and wishes. Um, these wishes and dreams aren't necessarily the problem. They might not be the problem. They might be, but they might not be. Um, it could just be that you're busy um, and, you know, they, they don't understand that. I'm not sure what the issue is, okay? And obviously, because I'm reading for all Taurus, it could be that there is issues with um, different issues for each person, okay? So I'm seeing that there is an energy around you where you know who you are. Um, you feel very strong. You feel as though, you know, I'm, I know who I am and I know what I want and I know what I deserve. You have my 10 of cups. Okay, so this 10 of cups is saying that, you know, you're comfortable with yourself um, emotionally and, you know, um, mentally. Okay, you, you know who you are. Okay, so you've got the, the, the world card, one of the best cards of the deck coming up um, around the middle of um, January, okay? Middle of January is going to be a time um, that you are going to be taking on a new project. And I feel this application form or putting your name down for something, um, applying for, doing something about it, okay? There seems to be links with somebody um, who is, um, a boss or somebody who is has got kind of high vibrational energy um, and this person is linked around this new project is linked around that um, but I don't sense that they're being dominant or overpowering they're just kind of like a leader energy okay okay so I'm um, also feeling as though life is a little bit upside down and you're waiting for an answer um, from a person who can have a sharp opinion. It's like there might have been something said by you and you're waiting for them to come back to you with a response. And it's, you know, when you're kind of looking at your phone um, or looking at your emails and it's like, oh God, you know, I can't wait for them to get back to me. Or, you know, how are they going to react? Is it going to be right? Is it you know, what's going to happen. So there's a little bit of anxiety kind of energy where, where everything is on hold, everything is upside down. And then I'm seeing good news. Then I'm seeing good opportunities. I'm seeing, you know, the sun has come out, everything is good. So within your reading, you have the sun and the world, which is two of the best cards in the deck. Okay, so you've got some really good cards, um, Taurus. Um, somebody from your past will be coming back into your life. This person is going to be coming back. They can be a little bit dominant, but it's not a bad thing. Um, this dominance is like um, they can fire you up to get your life sorted out. Um, you know, you might be very earthly and, you know, I mean, you are a Taurus, aren't you? So you can be earthly and you can do the hard labor, but sometimes you don't get enough fire in your belly to change your life and expand things. This person comes along with their fire energy and they light a fire underneath you so that you do do something. Um, so they are kind of good at kicking you, good at pushing you forward, okay? Which is why we've got the, the world cards, okay, and the sun. Okay, so that's what I see for Taurus. So Mary Jane says, seven granddaughters, two step girls, and they are um, that they are the oldest in their 20s and youngest are twin girls who will be three. Our oh, twin girls of three are oh, surrounded by bulls. Oh, so they're all Taurians, are they? Whoa. <laughs> Obviously, Taurians, you can be, um, you can be stubborn. Um, and you like to do things at your own pace. You don't really like other people telling you what to do or bossing you around, okay? So, you know, it takes a special person who can, who can do that light in the fire underneath you, okay? Otherwise, you would um, soon tell them where to go with it. 
okay if you didn't but um yeah exciting times so we're going to do now virgos okay Virgos are usually planners. Virgos plan ahead. They make things happen because they've already got it structured and sorted out. Your, your daughter, your son, your son-in-law and your granddaughter. Wow. <laughs> um, that's a lot of stubbornness going on there, Mary Jane, isn't it? Um, wow. Well. Um, but they know their own mind, don't they? Taurians do, you know? <laughs> okay, Virgos, let's have a look, see what's going on with you. The 3rd of January through to the 10th of January, 2022. Right, so I feel that there is going to be a celebration, a surprise, um, something to raise a glass to, congratulations. Okay, so this could be a birthday, it could be um, an, opp an opportunity that's happened that you wanna celebrate. Um, I feel that you're gonna feel very positive, very good about it. There is something to do with the battle though, in the background, it's like, could be that there is um, a situation that has blown up, um, it could be that, you know, you're trying to keep things lighthearted and someone else wants to kind of um, make issues or problems. But the beauty of it is that you can rise above it and you can kind of just ignore it and say, I'm not playing. I'm not playing that game. I don't want a drama. I'm not going to put my... You can only have a drama if someone else puts you, um, you know, if you start playing the game, okay? Otherwise, you can just and do your own thing. You are going to be dealing with a lot of kind of other things though. Um, and I'm seeing this personal thing of celebration like I've done it. I have achieved it. Look at what I've done, okay? Within this reading, um, you've got two threes here. Now threes are to do with celebrations. It's to do with kind of feeling um, empowered. It's to do with kind of that triangle of building up. OK, it's like, you know, um, going up levels. OK, that's what it feels like. Um, but you are standing your ground over a matter of principle that there seems to be something that other people want from you. Um, and you've got to the point where you you're happy, but you don't necessarily want to go further than that. Um, and somebody else is wanting to push you. OK, it's wanting to, to, for you to kind of go faster or push you. And Virgo's you haven't planned it so therefore you know it's like you've planned to get to where it is now but you're not ready for it to go further than that so unfortunately they're going to have to be patient and wait to see what you're going to do next okay because you won't be pushed there's going to be a bit of an eruption i feel as if it's kind of emotional eruption and um there's a strong feeling of you having to do this on your own or no one else around you um, to come to your rescue. Um, so you're gonna have to stand up. I feel that there is somebody who's coming along who's had their crown knocked off. So you're looking at this person and you don't get them. You don't understand them. They don't understand you. The communication lines for start are not good, but you will have an idea of how you want to resolve this matter and what you want to do. You tried to ignore it. You tried to kind of say, I'm not playing those games, but I do feel as if they are, they were absolutely adamant that they wanted you to play the game. Okay. And you will then get to the stage where you won't look at them with the same respect anymore because of their behavior. How it will end up is unfortunately, they're going to lose out um, your, your friendship or going to lose out on your energy because you are saying I'm done we've got my letting go and walking away card okay we've also got the balance okay I'm getting my own balance I'm 
it's like I'm weighing up the pros and the cons with that. And I don't have to do it. I don't need to do it. Okay, I don't need to play the games. So there you go. That's what I see for Taurians. Sorry, no, Virgos. Okay. Okay. So Mary Chair says, yeah, fools are going to tell it like it is. They do. <laughs> yes, they do. Capricorns now. This is the final um, zodiac reading, okay, for this week. Okay. Okay, Capricorns. Okay, so you're going to break, um, you're going to break your routine by applying for something that is going to literally take you out of your comfort zone. Um, I'm seeing that you've decided that you have been plodding long enough and that the next opportunity has arisen at the beginning of June, of January, that is going to make you break free. Okay, from restrictions, um, from the normality. And I feel this is linked around, I feel, okay, they're telling me for some people it's going to be linked around jobs and work. And for others, it's going to be about their relationships, breaking free, waiting for another opportunity to move on um, or waiting to not, not um, it's like a confrontation that needs to happen to get your point across. Um, to say what it is that you're feeling, okay? I'm also seeing move moving around. Now, for some of you, it will be moving home. For others of you, it will be decorating DIY and changes to do with the home. Maybe somebody moving in, moving out, okay? But I am seeing the home, and I do feel as if there's been a few little battles or a few little kind of um, things that need to be cleared up or, or sorted out. Um, I do see that there is some sort of words that have been exchanged that may have been um, hurtful because it's talking about one-sidedness, you know, one person kind of saying, but poor me, um, and the other person not having to have their say, not being able to stand up for themselves and say, well, what about my situation? It's like, because they're just not listening to the other side of things. This is going to create a few battles, okay, I feel. Okay, so I do feel that things will start to wind down, okay, towards the, the end of this, um, yeah, towards the end of this week, okay, so towards the end of, the, like, the 10th um, of January. Um, so it's like you've had the idea of how you want to handle this and what you want to do, and I do feel as if it's like I don't have to, um, you know, it's very similar um, energies to kind of people being drawn into battles and things. Again, um, this is to do with the home, uh, but I can see the breaking free from it all. Um, there is going to be a celebration at the end of it. There's going to be um, a lot of respect, a lot of achievement. I feel the communication lines are going to be very clear and very open. People are going to know kind of what, um, how you feel, and that you're gonna know how they feel. Um, and a lot, lot of changes, but a lot of good energy kind of towards the end of the week, okay? And you are gonna be very pleased with how you've coped and what you have achieved, what you've done, okay? And, and where it is now, okay? I can't see you backing down though, Capricorns. You're not gonna back down and you're not going to be saying, um, you know, please forgive me, I'm sorry. It may be that you give your point across and you might, might meet that person halfway, um, but it, it is the way it is. I am seeing, um, just to finish off, I am seeing that there is a boost of confidence coming your way um, and somebody noticing how well you've done. Okay, so there's a compliment and there's a feeling of being very kind of, you know, it's like you know that you've worked hard, and you know that you deserve um, to have that recognition, well, that recognition is on its way, um, and it's gonna make you feel very blessed, 
okay and um it's linking i feel um to do with a project that you've done and this can be to do with um you know something that you've made or something that you've worked on okay and it's like that feeling of happy and um, blessed that comes to mind okay so there you go capricorns okay so um thank you for joining me um those that have oh it's lovely stephanie hello stephanie oh it's good to see you <laughs> gemini yep it was a good gemini reading yeah oh thank you ali for the week reading i appreciate it. it's my pleasure my pleasure i love i love to do them um they always make me smile so ah, uh, i'm going to sign off now because um i've been doing readings practically all afternoon and evening and morning <laughs> hi ah, uh, stephanie uh, Stephanie calls um, Greg and I um, mum and dad in 5D, mum and dad. <laughs> I love it. I do. I really love it. The two Stephanies, I know. Love that. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you to bits and um, take care and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs>